Hi everyone, I hope you're okay. This is my third attempt at this video. And the first attempt I was explaining concealer and I hit my head on an open, I bent down and I didn't realise my drawer was open. And I don't know if you can see that little cut on my head there. It doesn't look like much but it absolutely kills like everything around me just went like blurry it was blah and then the second attempt I didn't hit my head everything was fine and then I completely went over by about 10 minutes and I still can't understand how to edit on Windows 7 so I'm going to just go for it third time so it's not like I'm repeating myself but yeah oh, sorry if I go on about my head my head cut it just stings like a Anyway, <laughs> first of all, my number one, I have number one and they sort of the rest follow. Favourite product of 2009. And this is it. The Revlon Colour Stain in buff. This is my baby. Um, This is amazing, seriously. This is my fourth bottle, I think, this year. And it's just the perfect amount of courage for me. It's not too heavy if you don't want it to be like... If you want more coverage, then you can, it's very buildable, and it's not that expensive. This is about twelve pounds, and yeah, like I want the Mac one, but that's twenty-two, and I think I'd rather just stick to this one, and it's not let me down. So love it. So concealer time. My current favorite concealer is the Mac Studio Finish in NW20 which looks like this and this is just it lasts completely all day no smudging I still look like like no bags at the end of the day but this is not in this list because I only just got it and it's 2010 so my favourite two concealers if I can find them these but overall I like this one it's the Mimi Me, Me, Me Flawless Concealer in Buttermilk and it's just it don't look grey on the screen but it's just quite coverage it's not heavy coverage but it's just enough to get rid of the dark circles and redness when I, I have redness as you can see like around my face and stuff but yep so that's my favourite concealer and then for the lips, favourite lip gloss over 2009 is this. You've seen this before, it's the. Sorry, I'm not really good at studying things. It's the Red Pink Sparkle, number 7 by Asda. And literally, it smells like dazzled glass. Um, it looks like the same as dazzled glass, and it's so much cheaper. I'm not sure how much it was. But it's gotta be a lot cheaper than like twelve pounds for dazzle glass. Um, the only thing that's not really dazzle glass, it hasn't got. It's got glitter, but not an awful amount as dazzle glass. So obviously, if you like the glitter, then the dazzle glass is for you. But I love it, and it's it's not amazingly sticky. Like. Just looks amazing, but yeah. And my favorite lipstick is this. It's the Darling by Gosh, which is absolutely famous. And it looks like this. It's amazing. And. Yeah, I got this for my birthday a few months ago and it's just the perfect nude. On to makeup brushes. I have a couple. Four. All MAC Polyges. But the first one is for my foundation. It's the 187. And you just stipple it on and it just looks airbrush like. I find the 109. It's meant to be a bit streaky. But the 109 I use for 
contouring and um, buffing in my face powder it's just amazing um, it's just a perfect brush and then these two the 217 224 which I don't need to explain because you've seen them before but they're just basic blending brushes just to get perfect and just a warning I have no makeup on other than a bit of a lip gloss so yep excuse the face and then this, this black eyeliner by very M it's just their basic black which is just brilliant <laughs> I keep saying brilliant a lot and then on to next is this one my desk is a complete mess so it's hard to find my favourites and it's the super carbon gloss by um, L'Oreal which again you've seen before it's amazing and then finally along, it's, it's, it goes with my Revlon colour state it's you've just seen it it's the Urban Decay Primer Potion which my head's bleeding anyway which is completely amazing like I didn't really appreciate it like I sort of used it as like yeah because everyone uses it I sort of put it on because what they say on here but I didn't have it um, the other week I left it at my boyfriend's house and I couldn't do any and I couldn't do, literally I couldn't do any eye makeup it like it didn't apply properly it was so sheer um, it didn't last at all and I completely gave up and just didn't do any eye makeup and it's just absolutely amazing it's it's 11 quid so pre pretty pricey but in my opinion, sorry, if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at myself. It's completely amazing. Um, yeah, so these two top products of 2009. These are the winners, followed by the rest I've mentioned. So that is all. I really hope you enjoy, and thank you for watching. Bye.